In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get some decent skin tones that match well together. The idea is you don't want your shadows and your highlights to make you look like you have like a skin disease, right? You don't want them to be too drastically different from your actual base skin tone or else it just looks really weird. <clears throat> so as you can see, I went through and added the hair and fur finished up the eyes, I did a mouth really quick just so to look a little bit more natural, and then I have my shadows and highlights from earlier and my face base. So I'm going to start with the face base, right, so I have my other stuff locked, I have my face, all three of my face layers unlocked, and I currently have my face selected, or Mrs. Hayes' face selected, right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, just so we're working up a little closer there. Now. There's a couple ways that you can derive your skin tone. One way is if your picture's lit well and nice, there's an eyedropper tool over here. Eye on the keyboard, eyedropper tool. I have the face selected and I can kind of come around where I think my base skin tone might be, something like that. I can Command Z to undo, I could pick a different spot. That's one way to do it. And I actually like that color, right? I can even come down, maybe get that color. There is also, if you come under swatches, have my swatches panel and then right here in the bottom left of the swatches panel is a swatches library menu. I can open that up and you can come down here to skin tones and you will notice that there are several skin tones to choose from. I can also come in here instead of eye dropping maybe if my picture's not lit well, it's kind of dark, it's in the shadows, whatever it may be, you can add more than one of these, right? You can add one color or if you click on the folder, you can get the whole roll of skin tones. So I'll add that just in case I need them. Now, with my face selected, here is my skin tone color. Let me delete, whoops, delete that one. I'll leave it for now. I'm just going to drag it down. So I, I dropped, and then that's my skin tone. You can see my face is selected, or Mrs. Hayes' face is selected. And then I dragged it from there into my swatches. The reason why I want to do that is I'm going to come to a highlight. Now you could come in and if you're using these swatches you could say that's your skin tone and that's your highlight that's your shadows right and they're pretty close. If you're doing it like me from scratch or just in general I might have my face base I'm going to make my highlight the same color right it didn't change because it's the same color but then I'm going to come over to color panel and I don't want to mess with RGB. That's a combination of red, green, and blue light that gives us all the colors on the computer. I don't want that. There are other ways to choose colors, so there are other slider options. So with the color panel active, I'm going to go all the way to the right, and these little lines right here for any panel are the options for that panel. So I'm going to open that up. And you can see we have grayscale, variations of black and white, RGB, red, green, and blue, HSB, Hue Saturation Black, CMYK, which is for print, Cyan, Magenta, Yellow, and Black, and then WebSafe RGB, that's a more limited color palette for back when um, you couldn't tell if a monitor, how new or how modern a monitor was and how many colors it could display. We don't use that very much anymore. But what I want you to do is Hue Saturation Black, HSB. Hue is your colors, right? You can change the color. Saturation is how much of the color you have, and you could tell we're kind of in this orangish range, right? Skin tone. And then black, how much black. So this is a highlight. I might do a combination of a little less saturation and a little less black, and just a little bit. All right, don't want a whole lot. This is the thing where it's about being subtle. I'm also going to turn my stroke off and I'm going to deselect. Now you can see I have a highlight, right? And it's much more subtle than maybe some of you are originally thinking. So I'm going to come here to my other highlights. I'm going to shift click so I can highlight all my highlights at once. I'm going to take my eyedropper tool and I'm going to eyedrop that one I already made. There we go. Now I have some highlights. The other thing you'll see and we'll talk about in the next video is now I'm starting to form a nose. I got a highlight on the top, I have some stuff on the edges, and now in this empty space a nose is forming. But we'll talk about that later. All right, I'm going to click my uh, shadow here. 
All right, I'm gonna turn the stroke off while I'm here. Select my fill, come back to my swatches. I'm gonna start with that skin tone again, that base skin tone. Come back to my color. My HSB slider should still be active. If not, come up to your options. This is a shadow, so I want it to be darker. All right, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of that. I'm gonna click off and see how it looks. And I think that's too dark, but it's up to you. Right, this though is just allows you to be very subtle, very subtle changes. I might try that. I'm gonna eye drop. I have my two shadows, click off. And now I have some highlights, shadows, and skin tones that add depth, right? But aren't too drastically different so it looks like a skin disease. And this isn't gonna look natural like a photo, right? It's an illustration. So just kind of get it subtle. We could talk about blending it more in a future video.